Day 18 of the lockdown and a decision on extension of the lockdown is awaited and uh, on how the government has already indicated that several hotspots of COVID-19 will remain under restrictions. So what kind of restrictions will these be and how will uh, industries that are permitted to operate during that period of restrictions, how will they go about their duties? These are questions that need to be answered to the public and uh, there will be clarity we expect on this soon enough. Now, the number of coronavirus cases in India has risen to 6,761 with 206 deaths. Over the last 24 hours, there have been 37 deaths reported and an increase in 900 cases. There have been 900 fresh cases over the last 24 hours. This is the largest single day spike that India has witnessed. And because of this uh, picture, and the surge in diseases, the World Health Organization had yesterday said that India has entered the community transmission stage, which is a statement the WHO later retracted and said that that was an error on its part and that India is still experiencing cluster outbreaks. Cluster outbreaks are pockets in which the disease is uh, uh, present, but it has not extended perhaps beyond that. Even the health ministry then made a statement and said India is still witnessing, uh, is, is still in, under the local transmission phase and it's witnessing cluster uh, outbreaks, but there is no community transmission yet. So, uh, and if there were community transmission, then that would be an extremely heightened uh, level of alertness. So if there is community transmission, it does not help the government to hide it this would be made public. So there is no need to worry about that yet, as long as we practice social distancing, as long as we follow the lockdown orders to the last letter. Now, Punjab has followed Orisha and it's become the second stage to extend the lockdown. Punjab has extended its lockdown till May 1st. Uh, Chief Minister Amarinder Singh, while addressing a news briefing online, expressed his worries and he said it's frightening that it appears that there are indications that Punjab may be leaning towards a community transmission at this stage. So Punjab has really intensified the lockdown and intensified the restrictions. It's also made wearing masks throughout the state compulsory. Moving on to Delhi. Now, Delhi University has said that uh, it will try and make the admission processes, all of it, will go online. That is what an administration, uh, as administrative official there is saying and uh, the modalities for this is still being worked out. This is to prevent too many students going to universities for admissions uh, and to ensure that uh, social distancing is practiced even then. Beyond this, uh, Delhi and Mumbai had already made wearing masks uh, compulsory. So had the Uttar Pradesh government. Now Gurgaon has joined in the list. Being in the neighborhood of Delhi and Noida that have become COVID-19 hotspots, Gurgaon has also witnessed uh, uh, several dozen cases. And now it's made wearing masks compulsory in public. Even if you're driving by in a car, you have to wear a mask and not wearing these masks will be a punishable offense. India has also clarified that it has enough stock of hydroxychloroquine. Now, hydroxychloroquine has been in the news because uh, Brazil and the United States have asked for India to release this essential drug. They call it an essential drug for the treatment of COVID-19. It's not a cure, but it helps uh, in cases in, uh, in suppressing the severity of the disease. Now, India says it has enough of this medicine for its own people, which is why it's decided to release it for several foreign countries that have made requests for this essential drug. India has said that uh, the requests for this drug will be made via the Ministry of External Affairs, which will then be sent to the Department of uh, Pharmaceuticals, which will then assess the requests from the countries based on their needs. It will then also not compromise on India's needs and then only will it give a nod for the consignment to be exported. And finally, the National Commission for Women has released a helpline number for a WhatsApp uh, for women who are experiencing domestic violence during this lockdown period. This number will be applicable and it will be functional only during the lockdown period. And uh, the number is 721-77-35372. These were the updates for today. Let us know if you have any suggestions or questions in the comment space below.